You know we only want joy when we demand joy. Fuck you, DJ Lou. Fuck you, DJ Lou. Yeah. Black yeah. Lou. Drink, Black it, Lou. drink it out of Eddie Vedder's dick. Drink yeah. it out of his dick. Black Lou, you're still our Black King. You're cool. Black Christine, Lou, Black King, Black Lewis Johnson. Christine, if you got any Me Too's, let them fly now or else you're just a stupid bitch. <laughs> the stupid bitch she was asking for. You probably wanted it. Yeah, all right. What, what's up? We're going with more of an Ellen vibe here on this Dan, show. Stan does his shoulder taps with his dick. Yeah. Hey, Christine. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Where's the rundown? And then he talks and makes his dick hole look like it's talking. Uh, but I do different voices, so it's hard to hate. Yeah. Hey, Christine, I'm sorry they did something mean to you. I go, oh, well, sorry, Christine, it's me, Winnie the Penis. I'm sorry, <laughs> all those things. Uh, what do like, you say? Yeah, give me a little kiss, a little kiss on the chin. <laughs> How about just a little kiss under the chin? Oh, Ooh, that was a wet one. That was a wet one. Now let's dance. <laughs> let's dance. Shut your whore's mouth and let's dance. And just, she's just bullying someone, and then she goes, now let's dance. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> she goes, I swear to God, I will eat your pussy and throw you out of the top floor window of this goddamn place. <laughs> play <laughs> Katy Perry's Roar. Now play it. Play Ariana Grande or I'm munching tossing. Yeah. I will bite your fucking cliff off. I will bite your clit off and punch you square in the fucking face. I now, yeah. Shaka Khan's ain't nobody. I usually, yeah, she goes, hold on, Mambo number five, or I'm going to suck you from the back and kick you out a window. Fucking rule. Yeah, I'm going to shove your face in my cunt, and then I'm going to knee you square in the nose. It's funny to hear about people being mean when their product is so bright and cheery and bullshit that it I makes know. it, it makes it way better. It just makes it really funny. That's what this you whole DJ Lou checked out. He won't hear bad talk about Ellen. He won't. About he the gen? He won't hear it. He was a big what? fan. He, 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 he was there. Uh, he was holding up a sign outside of the studio the day she announced she was oh. gay with a You're So Brave sign. Dude, he's got, he's got the Ellen show on DVD. <laughs> to it. It, was, it was actually uh, a lot of funnier than you think. He goes, dude, good joke writing. Check the staff. They went on to do great things. Half of those guys ended up on Simpsons. So I don't know. What you know a, lot of people, a lot of people checked out because it was Ellen DeGeneres. But I'll tell you, if you watch it, there was there's a the LPMs, the laugh from per minutes, dude. Dude, Fantastic. it hits. It hits. And also, if you if you checked out, check back in because Ellen had some good stuff. And yeah, they Ellen um, is in trouble. But what's going to happen? Does she say she's just going to walk away? Because that's what I would do if I were Ellen. I'd be like, "Fuck you guys, no more Ellen for you." Our staff hates me so she, much. She put out a response to her staff. So the claims of the toxic work environment. It seems like the staff's like it's not really saying it's her. It's like upper management and all that. <laughs> but it probably you know things environments stem down from the top. Generally. Is there a list? She is there a, a list of things? Is there a list of things she digs? I, think, I hope it's funny. It's like she would come and fart in our lunch. <laughs> like Dude, if, she weird pulled, things. if she pulled Scott Bayo bully moves, I would. I would <laughs> start to, yeah. Dude, no, but you remember when he threw the ball at the kid? <laughs> or he, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, when he threw hot tea in his face. Dude, if hey, she, hang on, think quick. You stupid I, bitch. When I worked ah! at uh, when I worked at um, Dos Caminos, one of the big gay bartenders this giant dude this gay guy and he was very handsy with the female staff and mm -hmm. he used to give him this thing called the scorpion where he would put his hand in between their butt cheeks and then with his middle finger like tap their puss <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> dude, <laughs> wild wild the fact the that scorpion yeah dude the fact that i mean he was a big he was a drag queen so like he was like a big gay guy and he had that like energy and he would do that, but the thought of Ellen scorpioning her staff on the way to the writer's room, she just goes, got you with my stinger. All right, let's get in there. <laughs> That's what How about, though, if you just, if you're completely straight, but you come dressed as a woman all the time and tell everybody that you're whatever, some kind of non-binary or gay yeah, or trans, go, goes, can you just grab pussy all day long? And I'm like, I'm just kidding, honey. I don't know, man. If that's probably the only way out of me too. Is you gotta you gotta immediately bail like that, or you just you slap some tits. And she goes, "What are you doing? Yes. What are you doing, you fucking fat cow? I'm just here to let a little yeah, yeah. Out. <laughs> I can't. I gotta be able to. I gotta be able to puss <laughs> to puss clap a few of my friends every now and again. Oh, it's just shut us up, girls bitch. here. 
Dude, I'm going to go to construction sites and teach them how to catcall around the Me Too. I go, just, you guys have to gay. You have to act gay and you can say whatever you want. Or they're like, look at those jiggly tits, the old hag. And they're like, what is it? I was actually really hoping to fuck that lady, but. <laughs> He's just dressed like a full woman. He goes, eh, God damn it. I put on the dress today for nothing. He goes, oh, I thought there were going to be some broads going to their office. Oh, man, and this girdle is itchy. Oh, shit, hang on. Hottie, oh. 3 o'clock. Hey, hey, hey Vinny, bitch. Vinny, hey, hand, bitch. Me the, you know, hand me that wig. You ever sucked <laughs> puss, miss? Hey, bitch. Look at that nice puss. Maybe you need a little bit of a tap. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you need a tap, tap, rap, rap. Scorpion, scorpion, uh, click, click. Oh, honey, you didn't realize you're in the desert because you just got bit by a scorpion. <laughs> scorpion, <laughs> scorpion. <laughs> Sure is dry out. Hope there's not a bunch of scorpions around. <laughs> Man, I wish Patrice's joke you get stung. Was so you get so stung. Was... You want me to suck out the poison? Uh oh, what's wrong? You want me to find a lady friend to lick the poison out? Scorpion, scorpion, <laughs> scorpion, scorpion. Oh, so, it's just us girls here. Oh, we're just having a good time. What's this article from, Christine? This is on NPR, and actually what's going, it's beyond just like a toxic yelling work environment. Apparently, there's actual like sexual harassment misconduct with the EP. What? Oh, the EP. Who's the EP? EP a dude? Yes. And I'm sorry, I just had his name, but he's also the head writer. Ah, uh, okay. That's funny. They go, don't do that to me. Don't grab my titty. I'm going to tell Ellen. He's like, tell that dyke. She don't care. Yeah. She goes, you think she's way nicer than she is. I know the real Ellen, she's a tornado. They don't give a shit. And you go in there and complain to her. Name. Yeah, once she once she knows you're open game, she's gonna go in there for a grab herself. I wonder if Ellen just had the full like, don't fucking look at me, like the Howard Stern kind of thing, where like if you're in the hallways, just don't even look at me. Which is so, how famous do you have to get to get to that? I point? don't. I don't think he asked for that. I thought that was a weird thing that was brought to my way. Man, how great would it be that. if we could get it on It didn't seem like he even thought about it. Like, he just kind of walked through the thing. No one else was doing it. They said to me, uh, they weren't fucking around with me, but it was just like a weird, like, I don't know. That's Maybe something that you wish you could. Maybe they know I'm a fan, so they thought I was going to go like, it don't, it don't. Yeah, they wonder. I, I, I would want to know where that came from. Because it, it would be kind of shocking if he's like, no, I asked for that. And you're like, weird. I mean, he's like stopped into other shows before on his way out. Man, you know I mean? can you imagine Howard Stern dropping in on your show? Oh, he doesn't even know what it is. No, well, he does go, What the fuck is that? Fucking pisses bonfire. Me right pisses me right off. It pisses me right off. <laughs> King, uh, of all, so King of all media. Shout By out. By the way, that, that's in the middle of two things that are pretty awesome. One, uh, uh, often used. Uh, Sternthology bit that has Doug Stanhope and Bingo on. Yeah. And they were up all night because he was like, Yeah, he goes, Well, yesterday I went to, uh, he called it, I know this would drive Lewis Bananas, but he called it Big Jokers. He goes, I went down to Big Jokers and Skank Fest yesterday. You know that? And uh, it was a fun time and we did all this stuff. That's always awesome. And often, and also in Sternthology, I don't remember. It's something with Richard. They're talking to Richard about something, the bit that, uh, where a guy calls in and says, Uh, he's like, Anything else? He's like, Crackle, crackle, bonfire. <laughs> like, crackle, crackle, bonfire. Like, what the fuck, fuck is that? He just snaps. <laughs> so funny that he got Baba Booey in his back with our radio oh, show. Yeah. Like, fuck the fuck. Um, yeah, I don't know. If I were Ellen and this and the EP, you wonder if it's even worth it right now in a pandemic to keep going with the show. Like, you'd have to really love making the show, not just to be like, I have fucking $400 million. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. She Bye. Go I'm going to go live on an. Your- me and Portia Daraji or whatever are going to go fucking live on an island. She goes, my dancing is a disease. It's actually a brain aneurysm that I had that makes me dance everywhere or else I don't have my motor functions. That's the whatchamacallit. You know, Dan, the thing, I'm doing the song from the Great Adventure commercial. Yeah, yeah, looks, yeah. She knows like the Great Adventure guy. Dude, that's so funny. Her ears grew into the Great Adventure guy. They really did. It's so crazy. Now, where's the uh, the uh, accusations of what's going on there? Is this all of it, Christine? Well, there's 10. There were two men, and then this is one of the responses from one of the guys. But one of the guys were, well, yeah. oh, he wrote, I started guys, at the, those bitches want it. <laughs> yeah, he goes, don't let them tell you different. He wrote, I started at the Ellen Show as a PA more than 17 years ago and have devoted my career to to work my way to the position I now hold. 
while my job as a head writer oh so this is the guy this is the producer yeah. responding while my job as head writer is to come up with jokes and dirt i mean no it's not it's to write dance in front of <laughs> so-and-so interview fucking jokes <laughs> and during that process we can occasionally push the envelope what i'm horrified that some of my attempts at humor may have caused offense yeah, but if you ask a PA yeah. to blow you, it's not Hey, joke. Karen. <laughs> Karen, suck me off. I'm having writer's block. And she's Dude. like, what? He goes, I'm just saying, is that, she's like, excuse me? He goes, no, I'm saying for the monologue. Is that a funny thing? No, I'll, I'll cut it out. What if their writer's room was like worse than skanks? And they're just like, yeah, we just like watch these videos of uh, retarded kids getting hit by cars. And then, <laughs> and jokes. And you're like, what? And they're like, it's the Ellen's writer's room. It's it's nuts. It was like we we SNL loose, 70. Though. SNL writers' room seventy five to eighty, and the Genesis <laughs> room from fucking oh nine to twenty twenty. <laughs> and they go, look, we throw every idea out there because you have to be able to brainstorm freely, you know. We go to the, we go to the, the bottom room floor. So of, go to, yeah, they go to the top. It, the cutting room of the Genesis writing room is all just fucking like uh, like all lives pro all lives matter jokes. <laughs> oh, dude, they go they go racist and anti gay just to see if they can get there. They go sometimes we want to try and find every angle. We have I'll, a, tell you when the, I'll tell you when the I'll tell you when the blue lives matter when the black lives are in your house in the middle of the night. Hey oh, uh, Alan, that's Alan, not rolling off the tongue for you. Alan, you're likable, but I don't think that could work for you. <laughs> yeah, she goes, she goes, no, I was gonna, I was gonna do like a new a new thing. She goes, we're gonna do redo that R Richard Pryor Chevy Chase sketch with me and Trek or who's the guy that dances <laughs> for? And you go, that's uh, that's not gonna land either. <laughs> Um, go back to that thing he said. Was that it? No, there's more. Because there's like 36 accusations. There's 10 accusations on this guy, Ken. And then there's five more accusations on a guy, Ed. So this is just kind of... What like, are the accusations? Yeah, allegations against her? What's against her? It's not really coming out against her. There's old articles I'm trying to find that just say that she's kind of, you know, I guess kind of like not very nice. But it seems like a, that's like it. All these sexual, they're, just, they're gonna well, no, get it's like just like a nice. crazy, you know, not not being yeah. nice, but just being like a shitty boss. We all know like what that can look like. I thought she like fisted like, a writer's daughter or something. I thought yeah. it was gonna be something super lesboy and and fucking no, <laughs> she put out, aggressive. She put out a statement though about it um, that's long that went to her staff. But they're they're kind. Everybody's kind of weaseling out of it. <laughs> it seems. Did you ever take a People's Choice Award in the cunt? She goes, that's what it's like working at Ellen. <laughs> we do have the show Ellen to uh, to blame for for some of Piven's work. Really? Yeah, he played. Piven was on it. This is where we were. You want to read uh, the rest of it, Jay? Uh, I've been working here, guys. Remember for ten years. I mean, R.I.P. Uh, go, I, I <laughs> boy, that show's over. I have always aimed to treat everyone on this day. Damn, dude. Pete Dominic had no idea that he was going to lose all possible income when that show went under. He's like, you know what? I still got touring, and I'm good to go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I have always aimed. Uh, I'm, I'm saying that I feel bad. I was yeah. laughing at it. But it is a hilariously shitty situation. Yes. I have always aimed to treat everyone on the staff with kindness. Inclusivity? And respect in my whole time on the show to my knowledge i've never had a single hr or interpersonal complaint made about me and yeah, i'm it's devastated cause... beyond belief that this kind of malicious and misleading article could be published well it's funny because there's a lot of accusations again he said i never had any i never had anything come at me because yeah. i didn't have one turns out everyone was just too afraid to say shit so yeah that's all it was he goes i can't that never have it and now all of a sudden there's 11 does that make sense guys like Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like one person was like, I am going to come forward. And the other people were like, oh, really? This happened to a lot of people? Yeah, it sounds like you got I am Spartacus. Is, uh -huh. <laughs> however you say that. Yeah. I am Spartacus. Did, did, did. Tell you what people have to do. You have to get together as a work group uh, without the bosses one day and take Molly as a group. Molly is the truth serum of you. Like, yo, yeah. don't say anything, but I got molested by our boss. And then I go, yeah. what? Shut the fuck up. Shut you the go, fuck up. I've been molested by him so many times. Do we do a Molly? Oh, and they go, did Jacob ever make you watch him do push ups? And I go, what? And they go, yeah, you have to watch him do his shirtless push ups. I go, no. Go, yeah, yeah. We have to do that. And DJ Lewis, like, makes me all the time. I hate it. I go, what? <laughs> and then Andy goes, he kissed me on the mouth. And I go, Andy, you have to say that to someone. Black Lou, are you ready to speak up? What are you going to say? 
do you think that she's just a comic? Maybe she surrounded herself with a lot of sensitive people over the years, and she's just being a comic, a, a dick, but like she's got jokes behind the scenes. I wish that were the case. Yeah. I think it's more of she's so wealthy and runs a fucking major thing that she's kind of just like, I'm busy, dude. I'm fucking busy. Get out of my way. What do you want? She's been out of the, she's been out of the world of like hungry humor for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, yeah. Her, 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 her humor her humor is all right down the pike Main Street. Yeah, it's it's that uh, I still I'll, I'll go back to it all the time. But that joke they make for Tracy Morgan and 30 Rock where they're like, yeah, some people say your stand up just doesn't connect with the audience anymore. And he's like, people out in Montauk beating their lobster like this. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> it's like, oh, good. He's like, shut up. Don't make eye contact with me. But that is what it is. It's just it's like she she's been a she's had over 10 million dollars since the 90s. She's also yeah. an icon. So she's a comic, but she had her show. She had her that show. That is the funniest thing to be frozen coming. on. Am I frozen? No, you were for a second, but it was when you were saying icon on the eye, way open mouth. It froze for like five <laughs> seconds. It was bizarre but looking. I say, I say with Alan, like the Yep, I'm Gay cover, it was the first realization in my life that gay wasn't a horrible, horrendous thing. Very it true. Was the first Very time true. where I was like, Ellen's gay. Like I loved Ellen. I watched her show, and it was the first time in my, you know, in anything in my world where I was like, but Ellen's gay. If Ellen's gay, how can gay be bad? Well, it was the and first time in my life gay. when I saw that I had a reason for an excuse on why a woman didn't want me. I went, like, oh, that's why. Okay, that's gotcha. why Ellen okay. wouldn't answer my messages. That's why I, I want all my hand letters. And then I thought it was the first time talk shows a gay woman for 20 years now. I, I thought think. it was the first time that uh, the world was able to go. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I was right. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> real. Rosie O'Donnell was the second one where you go, well, I mean, come on. What did you think? I, I, I love it. I know she goes, everybody, I'm gay. And it's like, well, that explains your button down shirts under tight vests with uh, mom jeans since you were a kid. Yeah. Is that why you're always dressed like you run a Michaels? <laughs> oh good the lead explains why i found you were uh, uh an you're investor the in joanne fabrics yeah you're the super you're the super evolved pokemon of an art teacher that's how she always dresses high butt jeans and tiny little vests oh shit pregnant porn about to start in lose house black lose house are you guys did, did the wife change up her diet already black lou is she eating weird shit like uh ice cream and uh sardines Nipples. She's been sticking to the fruits and vegetables and good job. Oh, shit. I would take that. Trust me. Now that we're on this slim fast diet, I would take any excuse just to eat weird right now. <laughs> like, I want pizza with carrots on it. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Cool. Like, I, want, <laughs> I, want an app, I want apple slices and hot sauce. And you go, then we're going to do that. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay. And I think um, Ellen, I think Ellen just goes away. I think she's just like, okay, fuck you. I think if she does, if she keeps do doing the show, I bet this goes away. You know, she'll be like, oh, I've done some soul searching. Has she made a statement? Yeah, she yes. has a statement. That's what we have oh, to read. Bring that up. She's all, what's up, pusses? Thought I could talk to you like people. If it's like bright and yeah. cheery, it's going to fucking. It is a little bit. No. All you clams. <laughs> yeah. I got to you. Do it, Jay. Do your best, Ellen DeGeneres. Hey, everybody. It's Ellen. On day one of our show, I told everyone in our first meeting that the Ellen DeGeneres show would be a place of happiness. No one would ever raise their voice, and everyone would be treated with respect. Obviously, something changed, and I am disappointed to learn that this has not been the case. Yeah, it's and called your bank account. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to break in when I have an opinion on stuff. Um, yeah, you got wealthy. The thing you say on day one is never how you act at a success successful company. I'm sure Jeff Bezos, day one of Amazon, wasn't like, we're going to dominate the world. <laughs> he was probably just like, hey, guys, let's get books to lonely nerds. This is a place of learning. And then now he's like. I'm half machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At first he was like, and guys, don't think of me as the owner and the boss. This company is all of ours. <laughs> exactly. Together. Yeah, you don't think that fucking Steve Jobs, the first day of Apple, was just like, hey, guys, um, so we're just here about making computers more accessible to people, and now it's like all of their information shall pass through us, and we shall know everything <laughs> about them. This company isn't about me, everyone. It's about you. The Chinese children. <laughs> yeah, you're tiny. With your little fingers building microchips. Hands. 
your tiny hands make such big ideas. We love you for it. He goes, your ability to screw in tiny screws and SIM cards is just mind-blowing. The ability to not breathe your dusty breath into the back of these phones as you work on them is proof that you're the best. <laughs> A question from the laborers. This little boy asks, when can I see the sun? When can I have water? Oh, okay. That's a good oh, question. Oh, zing, zing, is it? Zing? Yeah. That's not going to be for a while. We got quotas to hit, my friend. But I'm telling you, you're going to be so proud when you see what these things are capable of. Zon Yang, you are going to have to sleep at your workstation tonight. And also, <laughs> we're going to make you watch the phone that you build go to a hot blonde girl in San Diego who's going to take frivolous pictures of the food you'll never eat with it. <laughs> yeah. Zing Zang, I noticed <laughs> this phone is supposed to be water resistant up to five feet and oh, do they let it in five feet and it's not working they let bobby kelly loose on one of the chinese slaves that he's probably like dude i was in the ocean i dropped <laughs> it i look like a fucking asshole what? i look like a buffoon yeah dude, I look like a buffoon dude he's like but that's, that's, that's not even. And he goes what is he saying he says a bird can only make a mistake when they realize the wind is blowing the wrong way dude, that's not what i want to hear dude i want my pictures <laughs> back Dude. Uh, dude. Uh, dude. I, uh, Ellen, Ellen continues. Yes. Ellen continues. I could not have. Uh, I cannot have the success I've had without all of your contributions. My name is on the show in everything we do, and I take responsibility for that. Alongside Warner Brothers, we immediately began an internal investigation, and we are taking steps together to correct the issues. See, she's As just side. Up. Sorry, she's just yeah. sidestepping all of this. She's she did she did a thank you sidestep. She did like a very like, hey guys, thanks for your support. Um, we're gonna look into what's going on. <laughs> you know, in cops when they would open the door and they're clearly just beating the shit out of their girlfriend, and the cops like, what's going on? He's like, I don't I don't know. You want to come in and check it out? And just, Seems that everything's running run normal here. That's what this feels like. Is there nothing, none of these claims of anything about Ellen being a piece of shit? Because I think she gets away from this completely. She goes, oh, shit, my staff were being, she can come out and be like, I'm going to hire all women. And the police will just cheer for her and know she'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, she can, she can just be like, only women of color that are gay sometimes. And everyone's like, <laughs> what a woke-ass queen. A, but that I'm not attracted to, so don't yeah. worry. She goes, turns out I'm going to have to stop my Fate Friday game where I throw hot coals at my, at my employees. But we'll <laughs> yeah. find a way. Tar Whoever holds it the longest gets a parking spot for the month. Tar and Feather Thursday, if we catch him. <laughs> <we catch you. laughs> um, all right. Oh, shit. Um, <clears throat> as we've grown exponentially, I've not been able to stay on top of everything and relied on others to do their jobs as they know I'd want them done. Clearly, some didn't. That will now change, and I'm com uh, committed to ensuring this does not happen again. I'm also learning that people who work with me and for me are speaking on my behalf and misrepresenting who I am, and that has to stop. As someone who was judged and nearly lost everything for just being who I am. Smart. What? Smart. That's a nice move. That's she a nice move. She she came out. That's a nice, like, uh, she goes, man, I'm going to start being better. Remember when I lost everything Cause just because I'm gay? Because I was just born this way? Anyways, um, I want to know... Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing I want to know about the Ellen thing. I'm really sorry about those sexual harassment things. I was very busy just fighting for the rights of people that are, that everyone's equal. Oh, that's that's crazy that my staff was being mean because I just remember like when no one wanted to work with me because of who I am. But I mean, if you guys are cool attacking that, then I guess we can. You know, I guess she we goes, can. You got fingered by a head writer? He goes, that reminds me about when I got fingered by society altogether and they took over my TV show. Yeah. But, you know, but I persevered, and, and oh. probably you will too. Yeah, oh, you saw his, he rubbed his cock uh, through his pants on your back? That's, that's pretty crazy. I remember when my mother threw my jacket out of, my house, out of her house and said, I don't live there anymore because I'm gay. So I just remember that. But I remember. I, the only thing I can relate this to is when my mother used to have my stepfather rape me in front of her until I wasn't gay. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. She goes, but, you know, that's, but, that's my past. Now I try to be good to people. You know, goes, I, try, wow. I try to pay forward positivity instead of uh, <laughs> bringing that negative into my life. But that's my life. That doesn't matter. 
Wow, it sounds like this environment was pretty toxic, kind of like my conversion camp summer, where they told me if I ever thought about women again, I would be beaten without mercy. But, but anyways, guys, that sucks, and I'm going to make some changes. Uh, are we good? Yeah. We're, gonna re- we're all ready to record. i got to dance out of here. Uh, <laughs> you don't mind me. i got to dance out of here real quick, And uh, but if you guys are good, are you good? Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to do the worm right out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I'm going to dance around and pat all of you on your heads because I do not respect you. And dancing I, and patting is my <laughs> alpha. I word. promise you guys, your pussies will be safe here for the rest of your lives. I am a <laughs> Just Katy Perry. Planet. And you're going to hear me roar. Oh, 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 she gets in someone's <laughs> face with her middle finger. Oh, 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 and also, guys, last time I checked, the show's called Ellen. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh, shit, he goes, I'm sorry you got fingered, but we have a show to do. I've got the eye of the tiger beside her. <laughs> <laughs> this is DJ playing <laughs> She goes, DJ, if you, don't stop, if you stop smiling, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. He goes, okay, miss. All right. Uh, you want to finish it? Uh, yes. Oh, it's, it is more uh, I promise you, I plan to continue to push myself and everyone around me to learn and grow. It's important to me uh, and to Warner Brothers that I like she's speaking on their behalf. That everyone who has something to say can speak up and feel safe doing so. Oh, wait, wait, so wait. You, you skip some. You skip some. Um, after that, as someone who was judged and lost everything. All right, all right. Uh, for being who I am, I truly understand and have deep compassion for those being looked at differently or treated unfairly, not equal or worse, disregarded. To think that any one of you felt that way is awful to me. It's been way too long, but we're finally having conversations about fairness and justice. We all have to be more mindful about the way our words and actions affect others. I'm glad <laughs> these issues at our show were brought to my attention. I promise to do my part in continuing to push myself and everyone around me to learn and grow. It's important to me and Warner Brothers that everybody who has something to say can speak up and feel safe doing so. I'll tell you what's this... happening. That's a, that's a little legal mumbo jumbo. I think, oh, yeah. She's not talking about firings at all. And it's because if it's just act, if it's he said, she said, she can't just go willy nilly firing people because they'll get lawsuits against their fucking show from the guys. She's also, so, you know what I mean? It's a weird spot. So she goes, We're going to make them learn and grow. So she's going to go, She's going to call somebody and go, Now, Kyle, could you please keep your fucking cock in your pants at work, you son of a bitch? Yeah. I'm hey. out there jotting down fucking essays now to come to your stupid ass. Kyle, it's ED. I just put out a barn burner of an apology. I'm going to need you to keep it sheathed, all right? <laughs> I got a show to run, and you whipping your cock out for these new writers is putting old Ellen in some heat. Like he's, I like he's mellow about it. He goes, "El, come on, you know the sword comes out. I can't put it away until it tastes yeah. blood, dude." He goes, "Come on, you She's know like, I get someone... it. I get it, Kyle. I get it. I do get uh, it." Ellen, come on. If someone pulls Excalibur from the rock, then they become the queen. <laughs> you understand? <right? laughs> yeah. He goes, "Sometimes that's how." I have to find the one who can wield the sword, you know, the hammer of Odin. Sorry, you know what it is. It's Crom's sword. What's best in life? To see your writers jerk you off. To hear Ellen Kyle, yell at another. Kyle, I hear everything you're saying. Kyle, I hear everything you're saying. You have a beautiful cock. I, uh, I wish I had one myself. It looked just like it. Oh, but. sweet. Portia has seen pictures, finds it elegant and massive. Yeah. In fact, if you could throw that thing into a plaster cast for me so I can make a strap on and give Porsche the biz with your cock, I would. But, Kyle, for the love of God, do not grab the tits of our PAs. Yeah. She is. And trust me, I want to. I'm, I'm looking at those blouse hounds, and I'm seeing a couple I want to smack around. They bring me a, they bring me <laughs> yeah. a coffee. I'm, she goes, you think I wouldn't want to ooga booga booga those big old fucking titties? You know I yeah. do. She goes, you listen, know I do. I would be giving morning brumskis to that one that's from Portland. Every morning <laughs> if I could. But I can't. So, <laughs> dude, let's read the final paragraph. She goes, I'd like to hold those boulders in my hand like the justice scale. But listen, to me. <laughs> yeah. we're at work. This she is goes, after work talk. Yeah, she goes, I would love a midday melon headbutt. But unfortunately, some of us will get in trouble for that. <laughs> 
Hey, you think in the middle of the show sometimes I go backstage, I wouldn't like to check that chick's oil over there? You know I would. <laughs> she goes, but it's hello, inappropriate. It's me, ED, Mortal Kombat, Scorpion. Get over here. <laughs> you know I want to do that. That's all I'm about. But we can't. Uh, uh, the Edge Queen. Come on, you know yeah, I come am. On, it's me, the Clit Tickler. I want the, the Rim Rider. <laughs> she's, got, she's got all these nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Tip Slap McGee. I'm over <laughs> here. Come on, it's it's Slit Lick Degenerates, man. Come on, come on. You know who you're talking to. I'm just asking you enough to fuck up the job. Slit Clit Degenerates. <laughs> It's like that <laughs> slit lick. Slit oh, lick slit. God damn it, dude! She goes, "Come on, it's me, the Coos Master." You know, if I'm in the parking lot, I'm going for me. <laughs> oh, dude! God damn it! Come on, it's Badger Badger D. Come yeah. on, Clam Slam and ED. I'm always here for it. <laughs> you want to read the? You want to read the final paragraph? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so proud of the work we do and the fun and joy we all help put out in the world. I want everyone at home to love our show, and I want everyone who makes it to love working on it again. I'm so sorry to anyone who didn't have that experience. If not for COVID, I'd have done this in person. I can't wait to be back on our stage and see you all then. Uh, stay safe and healthy. Show ain't going nowhere. She no ain't going nowhere. Fired. She just, no she just pulled fired. the top. I put everyone in some kind of weird seminar about not fingering the staff. Yeah, dude. She just pulled the Tony Stark where she goes, and I am Iron Man. <laughs> she should have just dropped that at a press conference. <laughs> yeah, because hang on. If not for COVID, I'd have done this in person. I can't wait to be back on our stage and see you all again then. By the way, I'm Iron Man. <laughs> stay, stay safe and health. Stay safe and healthy. Also, I am Iron Man. Yeah, also, man. I, yes, I'm Iron Man. Didn't this all start at the beginning of COVID because everyone was like, yo, I heard Ellen is fucking super mean. Yeah, it sucks that she's just like uh, walking through but the rain. But that's drops. not, yeah, but that's, I, I was, wasn't blown away by that. If someone's like, hey, you know this person that runs a major television show for the last 15 years is mean? It's like when people are like, you know, Lauren Michaels is mean. <laughs> Lauren Michaels, when, everyone, when anyone's like, Lauren Michaels is out of touch. I'm like, yeah, the guy's been worth 50 million since fucking. 81 what are you talking about his of course he's got in the live studio <laughs> yeah he just leaves like anytime someone tries to be like man lauren michaels just doesn't have any connection it's like this guy's just everyone's been trying to make him the happiest for 40 years <laughs> i'm pretty sure you go out of touch out of that i want you guys to see the google good? the google search ellen is a horrible mean boss you can see over the years that there's a uh, Oh, articles written on different things. They've been trying to say something, and then Ellen's just been squashing it. There was one from like 2013 I saw. Dang. Stories of Ellen DeGeneres being a mean, terrible person. <laughs> Is Ellen DeGeneres the, the meanest person in Hollywood? Was one of the headlines. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Don't fool me, dude. This, well, I'll tell you what, though. She's in this world, lady, Louis J. This, Gomez, <laughs> in a ruling. In this world, yeah. in this world, if you have a bad day at work, though, man, you are like fucking. Like it's it just gonna get out there. Do you know what I mean? Like it could, dude. Like, on a lower Har- scale, even, even the Steve Harvey thing. When the Steve Harvey thing, when he came back, he may have had like a fu- like an argument with a staff, like a staff member. Yeah, do you know what I mean about a thing, and then just like do some like in the moment thing, like put up a sign that's like, "No one look at me, no one yeah. bother me when I'm here, no one do this thing," and then something the next, you know, it's like goes right back to normal like a week later when he's like not bickering with that guy anymore. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it goes, look at this guy says no one can look him in the face. It's like, ah, oh, Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Dude. Like, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not saying that's the case. I don't know. I'm just saying like, no, but I know what you're saying is your, your one, your one snap. You know, if you have two snaps in two years, people will be like the way he talks to me. Yeah. That thing? <laughs> I think people have that in regular jobs, let alone ones where TMZ wants the scoop. You know, people have it at just like working at enterprise or working at a fucking office. And someone's like, yeah, man, uh, some days, and then you don't realize that his son has leukemia. <laughs> You're like, oh, I didn't know Craig in accounting, son was dying. That's why he was a little snappy in the fucking, in the common area. <laughs> and then you're like, but you don't go to TMZ and you're like, he's just fucking mean. I go to the refrigerator. He doesn't have small talk. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, can we read these 15 yes. things that the generous employees have said about working? For what, when's this from? Oh, you just moved it. I was trying, sorry. I was trying to see the year it's from 2000. Oh, this is from this year. All right. So this is from April. 15 things Ellen DeGeneres' employees have said about working for her. What website is this? This is on thethings.com. It's like a right. celebrity. Oh. It might be real. might be fake. Who knows? Every oh, website. the things. Oh, thethings.com? Um, Damn, she's 62. Yeah, I didn't know that. She's the queen of me. Wait, hang on. Let me thing. go through this because I thought this was something different. What do you mean? They're reading... <laughs> Here is what I was reading where I'm like, I don't know what her the prank stuff. It started to sound like it's just like, here's why she's a meanie. Like what her rants are, it says her rants are legendary, which is so funny. If she goes off Dennis Miller style, she goes, I don't want to go off on a rant here, <laughs> but I've been seeing employees. I would actually start at the top of this. This is really the. the All right. Uh, it says Ellen DeGeneres is an acknowledged icon, a talented actress, stand-up comedian, and talk and award show host. At 62 years old, she appears to still be at the top of her game. Some think of her as the queen of nice. They have been they have bought into the chirpy, happy image she usually projects on the Ellen DeGeneres show, her long-running, successful afternoon talk show. But talk to her staff, and a different story emerges. They call her the queen of mean. Uh, See that? Well, Lisa Lampanelli might have something to say about that. Uh, Miss Lampanelli, if you're done coaching lives, you might want to get into the legal squared circle and take care of that one. Calling her the queen of mean, saying she is dictatorial, uncommunicative. Whoa, I fucked that word up. Uncommunicative. Dictatorial. Yeah. Dictator it's a hard one. Dictatorial. I'm, I'm re slowly realizing that Colorado public schools have let out a lot of people into this world that cannot read or think for themselves. <laughs> Sometimes you read like you have cookie monster eyes, dude. <laughs> I, dude, I kind of do. I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uncommunicative i mean i can't even say it uncommunicate uncommunicative uncommunicative <laughs> moody arrogant and obsessive perfectionist what can't be oh yes it can her rants are legendary her refusal to communicate with junior staffers are a travesty even the senior staffers often feel left in the dark not knowing what ellen degeneres wants or what is about to come down it's no way to run a ship, let alone a talk show. But despite a dysfunctional work environment, high staff turnovers, and nasty rumors, Ellen carries on as she always has. So let's have a look at what those people who have worked with her day in and day out think. And then they go into uh, she's the queen. I mean, this first one's talking about her pranking the guests and having people jump out of like boxes and stuff. Here, here, this is Fuck this off. this article right here is is written by like someone that just went through a breakup with somebody and they want you to everyone to think that they suck. So they're just like telling you where they go. Yeah, she like does these pranks and you're like, what are the pranks? Like, ah, they're just mean. Did I tell you she's like super mean to her staff? And you're like, yeah, you already you already said yeah. That. Yeah, he goes. What else does she do? Did I say a thing about the pranks? <laughs> yeah. These pranks, they're funny. She's like, um, she's just like super mean. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, like an art, it's like an article about a stepmom. What does she say? Mean things. Yeah. You what, go, example what? She goes, oh, I don't even want her to say them. I don't even want to repeat them. <laughs> like if Jay, if, if, uh, if Jay, if you would have written this when you moved to Canton about Diane, <laughs> and you're just like, she's just like mean. Number 14. She doesn't let me do stuff. <laughs> yeah. What's she's tough? just mean. <laughs> just shut up. She's mean. What does she say? Stuff about me? <laughs> yeah, dude. What does she say? Every, every single one of these articles. Ugly. Is so I'm just so like, like, ugly. Fat. fat. She, she called like, you fat? No. no. She says I <laughs> smell. She said you yourself smell. She said something smells. She said I, something I, smells. She asked me what smells. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Number 14, queen of all she surveys. You're buzzing the tower like Maverick, and I'm fucking Michael <laughs> Ironside pissed off in the tower, dude. I'm like, you don't fly that low. <laughs> oh, these fucking fruit flies. Yeah, dude, you got to get think, out I of keep there. Thinking, I keep thinking the arrow uh, for the mouse on my <laughs> computer. Yeah. One, and I'm, I've almost punched the screen eight times. There uh, he is. And you have read Lights Out so far. I have had so many stumbles. Again, Colorado Public Schools, not a good look. You have two of, I don't know how, uh, I'm just a, yeah, uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm dumb. 
No, no, it's the school, dude. They blame the school. Yeah, the school. They blame the school yeah, system. Yeah. Dan, why'd you murder that person? It's Colorado school system. Man. School system, it. dude. <laughs> school system. Why did James Harris shoot up that movie theater? School system. Also, it's a, oh, so here's some fun things. You have to pick up some gum from a bowl just outside her office and chew it so your breath doesn't offend her. That's badass. That's and if badass. she thinks you don't smell right, she'll send you home the shower and change. When some caterers were grilling uh, meat outside the studio, she stomped out the man they stop. Why? She doesn't eat meat. Well, let me say something. Okay. Well, I just want to say before you say, Jay, that there was definitely a guy that got like tacos for the staff, and he's like, you guys are going to shit when you have this barbacoa. It is <laughs> same thing that it's just like cooking it outside, and she just comes out and ruins it, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> Man, I was looking forward to that. Dude, she looks like George Burns, dude. She is aging so bad. She just chomps a cigar and goes, my Porsche. My <laughs> Porsche loves to do so. Yeah. Yeah. So what were you going to say before that? Though? Say, yeah. say goodnight, Porsche. Night, Porsche. Night, Porsche. <laughs> no, you dumb dingbat. You dumb dingy. Uh, Porsche's nice. No, she what were we... Seems... Oh, what? You were, gonna t- you were gonna say something about the gum bowl. Oh, I have to go out there. To... Oh, I was gonna. Say... What I was saying was that just like I, I don't know, man. Like if someone stinks and you send them home to shower, it's an aggressive move for sure. But it's definitely the thing that you would want to do if somebody on your staff was... I I worked next to somebody before who smelled terrible for something, and they I was very happy when they made a very public uh, thing about it. It was an announcement to the group that was definitely focused to one person. And, uh, you know, it was like, everybody listen up, and everybody else just kept their headphones on and shit. (laughs) but, But you also particularly listen up. Dude. Um, so I don't know. It's like, if it makes sense, like, it, it's like, okay. But if someone's like, to me, there's some element of that that's sort of like if someone's not a handshaker, they're like a fist bumper always. You know what I mean? You still got that moment where you're like, well, do you want to shake my hand? But you're also like, it makes more sense. It's, okay, fine. Like, you know what? If I come in from smoking a cigarette and there was gum out of someone's office, I would probably just grab it anyway to be like, oh, nice. I think it's a my boss. Won't smell bad. I think it's a boss move to make everyone chew gum, and then every meeting you have is like you're meeting with an offensive coordinator because they're just chomping their gum, and they go, I'm going to tell you this right now. The tackles are shot. The tackles are shot. We're going to have to use our backup guards. We're not getting any pull. You know what I mean? Our, our, our pass blocking is just off the fucking charts all bad. That and how big would you be? Stop, Christine. Stop going up. Because I yeah, want to you're say, going. You're going through it. We didn't get time to cover it. Stop going uh, through. Because well, I want to go. Because I want to go through them and say these better get more like like that one. I can reasonably explain. Like I don't think she's a piece of shit for that one. So these better get far more. Like what is this bitch? I just think you know it'd be cool. I, I just think it'd be cool to have an office and then make someone take a hit of a bowl before they come in. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't smoke weed. It's over, dude. No, I guess, dude. You're now. You're coming in here edged, all edged out and mean, man. Ain't gonna happen. We got smooth, <laughs> cor- we got smooth corners in this office, bro. You gotta come in and sit down next to her and go, yeah, Ellen, the head writer's been giving me the scorpion bump on the clit lately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was it's saying pretty inappropriate. I don't want to work here anymore. <laughs> oh, I was saying for me to do that if I had an office, but yeah, Ellen doing it's way more chill. <laughs> yeah, <that's what> I'm <laughs> hey, you Ellen, you're gonna bug but legitimately <laughs> just got knuckle fucked on the way in here by fucking the head writer. <laughs> Yo, Kenneth. <laughs> yeah. He's been getting antsy with the PAs and sometimes he grabs their butts. <laughs> also, like, you really harshed our vibe when we were having Taco Tuesday last week and you stopped him from grilling the meat. Yeah, you stopped that the like, barbacoa yeah. guy and yeah. also... <laughs> Uh, Farid had that guy brought in, and yeah, like, yeah. There's just that a bunch was just of, was pretty harsh. But there's a bunch of pothead names on staff, and she goes, "Okay." And then Skinny Mike is just all like, "Why <laughs> the fuck are we not eating?" Right? And then I'm looking at him, I'm like, "Yo, Alan is fucking bugging, bro." And anyways, he's Dozer was all, <laughs> Dozer was saying also, you were like, 
you got pretty harsh with them out in the parking lot in front of and some then, people. Yo, Roach and Turd were mad pissed. <laughs> 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 that might have been two of my friends in middle school's names, by the way. <laughs> that was taken from my <laughs> <laughs> Roach and Turd. <laughs> Dude, and I just found out that fucking Turd listens to the bonfire, so shout out Jason. What's up? Uh, what's up? Why? Yeah, but why? dude, um, dude okay. that's so. All right, what's the next one? Uh, so the headline is when I want your opinion. Uh, hello, when I want your opinion, I will give it to you. Kind of boss. Ellen is famous for silently putting guests down if she doesn't agree with them. Take Caitlyn Jenner and some of the uh, opinions she expressed. Ellen didn't agree, and Caitlyn felt burnt. I mean, well, this with is. Yeah, this is bitchy. Well, uh, well, with staff, the put downs are not so subtle. Ellen will get right in their face and yell and scream, "How dare you!" She will rant and rave. Then she will ignore the offending staffer. Uh, they are beyond the pale or fired. Ooh. Man, can you imagine getting into an umpire argument with Ellen and then having to go back to your tiny office on the lot where you're just like, "Fuck you, you fucking suck!" Okay, fuck and she's John back at you, and you're like, "That was you was kicking dirt on her." <laughs> like, "Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, Ellen." Oh, fuck, that was out. You call that out, and then you just have to go back to your office. And you're like, "Well, I gotta pack up because I'm gone." We gotta look at some point her net worth. Keep going down. The accusations against her, it feels very like Devil Wears Prada, like she's kind of the same type. It seems like Anna Wintour is a little colder, but it's like what you're saying about Lauren Michaels. She just seems like a like a real Iron Fist boss. Hey, Christine, why don't you start your own fucking show? You want to talk about Devil Wears Prada like we all know what the hell you're talking about. I don't know anything <laughs> you meant right there after the words Devil Man Prada. Pause. You know that story about Time Anna out, Wintour? Christine. <laughs> I fucking love it. Live by the Devil Wears Prada. Anna Wintour is legitimately my spirit animal. That cold <laughs> wind of a bitch could literally turn this thing into the most fabulous apartment in the world. I've been saying that forever. So fucking work, queen. You do you. Anna Wintour does hers. Ellen does hers. Let's just have a cold snooch fest and just fucking smash coots. Um, yeah, this is all this good old fashioned clam bake at my place. Yeah, this is all like uh, this is all bitching just because you don't like your boss. Like I yeah. had, had the same complaints about restaurant managers, <laughs> so it's like, well, look, here's the thing too: I have a bunch of people smiling in this picture, and whatever you know, what I mean, but it's uh, some awards thing. It looks like a happy family, doesn't it? It's a staff at an award show, but behind the scenes, it's not happy families. The staff saying she ignores them, refuses to communicate communicate with them flies into a rage when they engage her she blows hot and cold on her good days it's not too bad on our bad days keep your head down all right i don't know it's man. almost like a lot more of the same like just one are we getting nine now we're at nine. Oh, now we're the Should top still- 10 we're in the top 10 of, of shitty things ellen does to her staff by, by the way, they're just they keep saying the same thing. They keep saying the same thing, Dan. Yeah. All right, junior staff, don't even speak to her. Yeah. Uh, the junior papers tell tales of spending years with Ellen, passing her in the hall every day, saying hello and getting nothing in return. Again, it just seems like yeah, this is all. It's like she probably doesn't know you. Yeah, dude, if you're gonna work there for seven months, why does she gotta suck your dick? Uh, senior staffers try to warn newbies. Usually, they can't believe Ellen. They know would behave that way. They learn fast. Yo, that's crazy, though. The sentence you skipped over, she said, if it's a bad mood day, she'll get in their face and ask how dare they invade her space. Is Ellen just the most gangster boss in the world? Yeah, that'd be, that's like like that'd be, she's like, she what's goes, up, motherfucker? Yo, what's up, new kid? What's up? I don't know. You're, just, you're just all up in my shit, man. She goes, let me I ride your bike. You're all up in my shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. Let me ride your bike. And he goes, no, but I, I was going to go to lunch on the lot. She goes, let me, I'm just going to, I'm going to see how it feels. I just want to see how the bike feels. Yeah, he goes, hey, you got a sandwich on you? Uh, you got an extra sandwich? Like, no, I just got the one. Yeah, that's mine. Next time, bring an extra for yourself. <laughs> yeah. She takes her phone, and she goes, you want to take a selfie with your new boss? And she goes, yeah, and she just breaks it. I don't yeah, take yeah. selfies. She, she pulls her pants out and takes a picture of her puss and gives it back there. There you go, bitch. There you go. You don't get to Kiss see the that. undercarriage. Yeah, yeah, you only get. Kiss that. Mwah. Yeah, dude, that's so fucking funny. It's, I just think she's just a fucking gangster ass boss. What's yeah, number eight? What I mean. She goes, Karen, downstairs, please. I'm going to continue this meeting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Karen, you got them long fingers. Writers. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. This is like writers say jokes are never funny enough. What Suck so? my dick, man. Like, oh, they, all right. Write funnier jokes. She has a quality. She's a comedian. She has a quality yeah, she, standard. That's, okay. 
There's a reason she's successful. She wants good uh, jokes, dude. And I don't, I don't find that so funny. Boring. Huh? And I don't find that funny. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't fucking log out, Jacob. Okay. Jeez, you can be here to defend yourself. Jeez. Um, we don't have to read the whole thing. She uh, usually doesn't give them any feedback before the fact, saying the disses and criticism for post-show rants about how unfunny the jokes were. One year, Ellen hosted the Emmys, and the writers pulled out all the stops, doing three versions of routines. Ellen was a big hit. Her only comment the next day was what a great job she had done. Oh, that's got to suck. You write for her, and then she's like, man, I fucking jammed that. Did you guys see that when it came out? And I was all like, Brad Pitt's here. Welcome to the world of writing, though, dude. That's sort of what it is, man. Yes. Listen, uh, Chappelle's show says written by Neil Brennan (laughs) and Dave Chappelle. You know what I mean? There was, like, contributing writers all over. Hurt, Brian Tucker. There's a lot of people that fucking wrote. But they bought what they did was they paid you for the script. They bought the script. Yeah. And then they can make whatever change they want to, and it becomes theirs. I, I fucking wrote stuff for people before who didn't go, like, thank you so much, so-and-so for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like, so, uh, I mean, like, well, public, I mean they, they thank me, but, like, not public. I don't know, man. It's just, again, bitching. Yeah, well, this is, what's the next one? Long hours? Oh, my God. What the fuck are they complaining? This article sucks, asshole. Forget this- having a life. Long, long hours. Like, you're working on a TV show. You know what you're getting into. This game is a fucking... If you're in this business, you're doing weird hours. Do you think when Billions is like, hey, Dan, you got to show up at 4 in the morning and you're working till 6 p.m., I'm like, uh, guys, that's a little long. What about my life? By the way, also because, also because the camera people and other people have to be there two hours before you and they'll be there an hour and a half after you at least. And they have to work every fucking take, every fucking thing they have to be on and nail their fucking... The cameramen have to fucking nail it also, oh. Dan, what's your thing? What's your biggest gap of time? Do you remember from like, hey, we'll probably be out of here by this time. We're, we, we're probably wrapping here. And then it's like, shit. Like, I mean, with Z Rock, probably four hours beyond yeah. what we were supposed to do. And the yeah. staff. And, but by, by the way, when that happens, legally, uh, you're getting paid over. To, they have to. Yeah. It's union stuff. So they get paid. It's just, again, a bitch. I learned, I learned they called it taking a penalty. They're like, we're going to take a penalty and just keep filming. Yeah. And like people are yeah. like, they'll be like, we're gonna keep, we're gonna push lunch, and we're just gonna take a penalty. And then like, you you don't see the staff, you don't see everyone being like, oh, like the crew's like, all right, cool, I'd rather get this scene done with, set up the next yeah. one. Yes, that's um, this. This article is just do it. it the, number two better be like, she raped me with a crowbar, and then you're like, wow, way to bury the lead. <laughs> from, from sweetness, sweetness and light. To- what? You want to read this yeah. one? From uh, sweetness and light to demon in the blink of an eye. What? Hot and cold, Jekyll and Hyde, angels and demons. Those are words that her staffers use to describe working with Ellen DeGeneres. Funnily enough, at one point, she was collaborating on a production level with Lionsgate for a remake of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The staff see Portia as a leavening influence uh, in Ellen's life and rue the day if and when the two split up. Uh, if and when? Jesus has to be in the limelight or watch out oh man fuck this shit now they're just being like if she's not the center of attention unless she's like physically throwing bows where she's like she'll bow you in the side of the head if you're not watching her dance around her office then you're like damn that's a fucking toxic work environment but this one's crazy this is dumb ellen's got a big tv show staff a professional crew and management but any success belongs to ellen DeGeneres. out of the limelight self-isolating she has be- behaved like a bored and petulant child and has recently announced she will broadcast from home. Dude, man, fuck this article. This no, article read the next thing. Read the next thing. Read the next Failure thing. Failure is the fault of the staff and the writers, of course. No, no. She says, okay, if success is down to her, what about the failure? Uh, don't, don't be, be silly. silly. She says, Failure is the fault of the staff and the writers, of course. That's like, again, I, I need to hear the tone of that sentence before I hear anything. You know what I mean? Also, we understand. But if, you had, if you had a roast joke, how many times I've seen people do that? We have a roast joke that bombs, and they go, "So and so wrote that." Yeah. <laughs> like it's just like it's like the similar, but it's like a joking sort of thing. Yeah, and then yeah, line up. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, if there's sexual assault shit going on with like her head writer and stuff, that obviously needs to be fucking looked at and addressed and taken care of. But this all just sounds like a bunch of people that don't like their boss. And we have all had jobs like that. 
It's, it's like you favor work on some the sta- Ellen show. It's Ellen favor some staff Ellen. over others. Yeah, that's what working is. Which is so funny of a thing. It's like uh, you know, I would invite Bobby Hutch to my house for a, an event. I wouldn't invite Gay Mike from Legion of Stanks <laughs> to my house for a fucking like for a holiday. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. I, I'm I've become friends with Bobby over the years. Why, that seems like another thing. It's like okay, yeah, that's uh, maybe you're not in that fucking world. You know what I mean? I mean, these yeah. Now they're just like getting this stuff. This really is what I said earlier. It's just a breakup where I, where someone's trying to trash their ex, and you're just like, I wouldn't. We, we used to have a. Said, we would have the said whole she didn't like you. We would have the whole crew over to uh, Wayne's house, but there's not a chance in the world I would ever let DJ Lou near my home. There's not a chance. Inside? The rest of you guys can come. That's inside, a shame. In, inside oh. my house, indoors in my house. Come on now. He's gonna, start smoking, he's gonna start smoking cigarettes on my Yankee Co's. He's gonna <laughs> he's going to my room. He's just gonna listen to Pearl, sleep, Pearl Jam at an ungodly on. level. <laughs> he's gonna sleep in his sneakers. I know. There's gonna be a whole bunch of things. He's gonna drink whatever um, sodas we have in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna drink all my soda. Oh my God. That's a great complaint. He comes in and drinks all my sodas. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that he drinks all my sodas. Those are my special drinks. <laughs> he's a great. He's a great. He's a great uh, coworker, right? but he's not a good house guest. He's not. He drinks. So he doesn't even ask if if these are all that you have. He just he'll take the last one. You drink Number it up, bad boy. Yeah, drink it up, yeah, bad, drink boy. bad boy. You drink it up, bad boy. I yeah, love it. <laughs> Uh, number three is, hey, she doesn't care if you don't like her. Bullshit. Good. Don't care. Go to number two. Uh, you're winning me over with this article. Ellen on TV is just a character created by a talented actress. Fuck you. She's, she's not exactly. She's not exactly who she is in in talk show monologues. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Okay. It's, oh, wait. The real Ellen is more thoughtful, darker, and troubled. You fucking suck. Fall off a cliff. Wait, it, number one. Reading this. If you're saying this, I'm starting to think that maybe Jimmy Fallon's like cursed before. Oh no, no. You, you, you don't cursed? think that guy's not just giggling through all his demons? Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord. And then the number one <laughs> the number one reason Ellen DeGeneres is a boss ass bitch is because if she's in a g- good mood, great. If she's not, keep your head down. Dude, oh, play some two They've repeated things over and over. They've repeated it's the same thing. Oh, every excuse is the, or every reason is the same reason. Hey, what dullard no, website? Really nice. What dullard website is this? Oh my god. The things.com. Her, her face you her face are, looks like it's made out of squeezed lemon. Yeah. No, she looks evil. <laughs> That's perfect. Go back to that goblin picture you just had up, Christine. <laughs> the bottom of the other article. It was crazy looking her face. She looks like she's in the she same has tri- four teeth. She looks like she's in the same tribe as uh, Kurt Warner's wife. It's so bizarre. It goes down all the way to the bottom. Yikes. Alan Charles. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. oh. Fucking rat- she has ratatouille face. <laughs> If my staff is mean, I eat some up. Is she transforming? Is she mid transformation right there? Wow, dude. This is uh, while we're talking about. Uh, I did watch real quick. We didn't talk about this even in the meeting, but I would just say this is just one comment. I just want to know. It made me laugh when I thought of it, but it's, it is fucked up. I will say. I, I've watched. Did you guys watch all of I'll Be Gone in the Dark? Jacob, Lou? No. Yeah. Yes. I finished it last night. Yeah. You know, whenever they have uh, an accused rape, when, when an accused, like a multiple rapist gets caught like 40 years after the crime, the uh, the funniest thing to me is when they have all the women there in the courtroom, they showed all the women going in the courtroom to like, uh, to be there for the trial. And uh, when they go, <laughs> they were like, now, Mr. Whatever, the guy would, the guy who got uh, caught for the raping, like Mister So and So, do you have anything to say to the court on your own behalf? He goes, "I would like the court to know that these women were far hotter when I had sex with them." Oh man, oh. <laughs> just women going in with like walkers and shit. And he was like, "I just want everybody to know these chicks were way hotter back yeah, then." Dude, what a way to own it. Where he's just like, "I just want to let you guys know that um, I wouldn't do it now. I wouldn't do it." Now. He didn't. He didn't say that. It was just saying in my mind, it's all I think when you bring in like this. It's like w- old women with like oxygen tanks and yeah. shit. Some of them, but, you know, they're older. It's forty years ago, Jeez. and he, you, know, you feel like his face would be like, he goes, "Sir, did you rape all these women?" He goes, "Oh no, not like that." Yeah. <laughs> just, guys, situation was dinner different. It's just a, it's just a hindsight. She was, what was she wearing? Kind of argument. 
Oh, dude, the documentary is so it, it really. Well, is watch like it. Sad. I want to get into it. It's fucking sad for the. Uh, I let's the, take a the, break. The Forty, the, dude. The guy had just real quick. We'll take a break. But the guy had a fantastic, like affluent life. Like after all of it, it was nuts. Really yeah. Crazy. Well, I mean, what I want to get into is the reason I'm not watching these good documentaries like the one on Showtime and HBO is because I'm getting sucked into Life After Lockup and whatever the We Network makes, which oh yeah, can only be- Love After Lockup, Love After Lockup, Love After Lockup, Love. There's also Life After Lockup. There's a lot of different versions. Uh, let's it's take true, a break. Let's take a break, and we're going to come back and discuss that. And we got a lot of other stuff. That Ellen stuff wasn't supposed to go an hour. We we're just having fun proving that Ellen's a boss. Boss ass bitch. Turns out, yeah. Turns out you better. <laughs> turns out you better fucking zip up and fly right, or she's gonna smack you in your mouth. Ellen DeGeneres for life. Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres <laughs> demands funny jokes for her comedy show. Ellen DeGeneres wants to do a good job. NWO for she, does, she doesn't like insubordination and likes her staff to do their best. Can uh, I know Be Kind Rewind might hit this. He's so good at hitting these videos first, but please someone do an Ellen DeGeneres dancing to Iron Man. I am. Is she live or dead? We'll be right back. It's the quarantine tapes. We're joined by the full crew. We just did an hour on why Ellen probably sucks, but she also is a boss, so you should shut up and stop bitching. Uh, except for sex and also and probably also rules. Yeah, she also su- she sucks, but she also cashes checks and snaps necks. So get out of her way. <laughs> and uh, to the guys, oh, pe- so all the haters fuck off. To all the haters, fucking blow me. And to all the women that are being sexually assaulted, uh, speak up. You should speak up, and you should hold the men in front of you accountable. At that, we should show the vid- we should have showed the video that we. Or that I brought to you guys of the Down syndrome kid having the lady throw the thing at him and just say that's Ellen. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, bring it up. That you've heard, heard that's footage of uh, Ellen's workplace. Read it out. Say this is Ellen's workplace. Yeah, uh, <laughs> r- a rare leaked footage of Ellen DeGeneres writing room of Ellen of Ellen and how she treats her employees. No, this is from employees yeah, from her writer's room. See, first, this is a good day. She lets him smoke weed. <laughs> And then a bad bit. Yeah. No, <laughs> Christ, dude. Dude, I hope the state <laughs> takes that lady away. I hope that kid gets you taken know, away. Why would you do that? <laughs> dude, it's fucking... He's like, I love playing catch. He goes, oh, cool, I love... Would you like some water? I love water. Dong. And he's like, cool. What if he just kipped up from that shot? He just gets knocked back and he's fucking shrink. He's like, what are you Tracy, doing? you have fucked with me for the last time. I swear to it. There it is. You can play the volume. Oh, the, this is the saddest one. Oh, yeah. Golly. Golly. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's a kid with Down syndrome getting hit in the head with a fucking empty Deep Rock bottle. Hmm. <laughs> the echo on that thing, though. What are what is uh, the World Star always has the best comments. What are the comments on the video? Uh, her here, son. Let's get high so I can throw this jug at your head. I mean, it's basically what happened. All right, good. Uh, good comment. Uh, out with him today, but Marianne, what is this? Uh, I don't know, but between. that Jesus, one bit. That, that one bitch wrote, then you could, uh, this bitch should be arrested and charged just like the other video of the lady letting the kids hit a blunt. What the fuck, bitch? Then you can hear the bitch say, go right before the chick threw the gallon at, the, at, this, at this head, <laughs> which is just a funny way to say a special needs kid's head. She goes, this head. Um, someone needs to check in on this. This poor kid's getting bullied by these bitches on the regular, yeah, it seems. I mean, no shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're real fucking garbage if you're just, like, with your friend and her special needs brother, and you're like, get him high, get him high, Crystal. And she goes, fuck yeah, Will, let's go, Jenny. I thought he was going to catch it. It's not, you don't think it's funny? And you're like, you Yeah, you want to get high, you want to get, you want to get Mikey high and throw a water bottle at his head? Dude, someone, yeah. 
and there what sucks is there's a lot of people on this earth that are like that's that's a great idea and we're bored on tuesday there's got to be a name for that activity it's like you want to come over and go thud hucking <laughs> yeah get a dude you want to do a high drive by and you're like what is that <laughs> we get this kid high and then we fucking throw a rock or a deep rock bottle at his head <laughs> Dude, let's uh you, a, you wanna have a smoky moon toss? Yeah. Sure. She goes, Oh, it's a waterhead egg day. <laughs> Find that lady. Bless you. Find that lady. That lady. Find that lady. Well, um, uh I didn't watch the documentary the hbo documentaries and the showtime documentaries because jay on the show and personally has called me several times and been like dude get on board with love after lockup this season the we talked we talked on saturday after you watched friday's episode and you're like dude you got to watch it we were just sitting around on saturday during the day I told, you know, Katie and I love bad TV. I told her how yeah. she had never seen Love After Lockup. And she's like, all right, let's watch it. I feel like this is going to make me sad. And I was like, oh, it's super sad. But once you get by it, it's pretty fucking hilarious. And, it's hilarious. Uh, wow. Watched all four episodes and got super into it. Man, there is some real shitty situations this year. Manipulators. Manipulators and fucking uh, delusional people. I have never identified with people more than the men that think they're getting the hot girl out of prison. What a Dan Soder way of thinking. Where you're like, <laughs> hey, oh, I don't know. It just seems like it would work out. And then you have several people around you going, hey, you know, this woman's a criminal and uh, you've never met her. And I go, yeah, but when I meet her, things are just going to, you know, going to go great. Uh, the one guy with the fucking... Uh, who's got like collagen lips or something he has ass fat lips yeah dude i don't know who, i don't know who i think his child abuse was someone put his lip to a fucking fryer like a grill was the where that show really does where that shows at right now there was a scene that was so puzzling to me as it, it was the cliffhanger of episode three dan when uh he goes to the airport to wait for the girl to land the prisoner that he's uh picking up that he's dating yeah, he goes around and it's a pretty empty airport. And he, for a second, I thought it was a bus station, even though he said it was an airport, because he's asking for information, like, like you know, it's like, hey, when's the next bus come? He's like, what time's the plane come in? Is it normally on time? Like, he's asking questions that are very odd. Like, this well, person's like, what? I he's believe like, what the airport does it come to. Like, these are all things you th are posted. I could be wrong, but I think the airport's like Tupelo, Mississippi. So I think it's like. A tiny ass town with a tiny ass airport. Absolutely, but he's asking quite like, how do you know what gate like they're coming into? It's like I, there's probably two gates. Dude. Yeah, like, dude, I don't know. So what are you He's just asking quite. Yeah, if you see you were there, you go, motherfucker, look up for two seconds. Like there's I, only what, two planes come in here a day. This show really makes me, uh, and we'll tweet out the link to this season's preview, but I think this this show really makes me think that if you're in jail right now or prison. And you've got a little bit to go. <laughs> trick someone. Trick them into oh, loving yeah. you. Go For trick sure. a lonely sure. person. Because you can have your stay padded with money. That one girl that's coming out to meet Burt Lip, he's given her like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars while she's been in prison. Uh yeah. Man, he really does have allergy lips. Dude, it's crazy. Um, but he's coming out to meet her and he's got he's purchased her. She's walking off the plane to a twelve hundred dollar cell phone crazy uh, a, a a new house not a new house but i mean like a, a house that that she has sent decorating uh she sent decorating plans to not like suggestions i want this bathroom i want this i want it well the reason way. you and can tell doing this guy it. He, did it all. he moved away from everyone he knows and loves <laughs> to just move to mississippi Oy vey. and to take care also, of this lady and her kid yeah dude he also was like yeah, I'm successful, but I'm going to do this. And then she, whenever she describes her life after prison, she, she by the way, she's in there for selling meth. She's just selling a shit ton of meth. And, and, and having a gun, like, I think. And having a gun. But then they, like, when they interview her about her, she's like, you know, I was using, and then all of a sudden I was selling. I think, is she the one that says that she was selling just to use, or is that Destiny? Yeah. I think they both. 
and their because teeth one of them, both would have a similar story. Well, one of them, the the girl that is Lindsay or, or Lauren, whatever her name is, the hot one, um, she has said like, "Oh, I was just selling meth just to support my habit." And then at one point, she's like, "Then I'm making ten thousand dollars on a Friday night," and I'm like, "Why am I even out here?" And it's like, "Oh, so you were selling drugs to make money?" Yeah, you fucking liar. Who would think one guy, would lie? There's one guy on the show, Dan. You can support this that. Uh, did never got married to this woman, but was with a woman for many years, like over ten 20. years. Like, no, it was twenty-two years. They've been they were together twenty-two years. Six children they have. Yes. Never got married. Some of the kids still young, by the way. Oh, there's burn lip. Scott. Yeah. Some of them still young. Uh, the kids, and he left the mom, and has now spent. It was a fifty thousand dollar bail bond, but also something else. Like he spent a lot of money on her and pick her up, and he's never even seen her ever. He has a picture of her from like eight years ago. Man, did he buy a car out of the paper? Man, <laughs> no, uh, shit, he, dude. He, he fucked her. <laughs> she comes out of jail, and he's just like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and when and when fuck. she walks out and throws her arms up in excitement, and you see her fucking gut hang over oh, her pants. Man. You, and, he, fucking, and right away you hear him go so uh yeah, yeah. you could probably find the clip of that christina her coming destiny yeah. destiny coming out of jail and her sourdough leaking from under her fucking yeah and, 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 the, and he brought her the gift of she's like i love tacos <laughs> so he brought her four tacos that before they even like hook up, everybody else comes out of jail and wants to like fucks right away yeah so i have a she theory jail, he's like i got you tacos and she goes Oh, you don't mind if I eat him in the car, do you? She just does oh, like, I'm ready to miss Pat him in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, comp, 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 comp. If you, if you, man, I have a theory about that guy that's in love with her. I think he has his top teeth are veneers and his bottom teeth aren't, but his bottom teeth look like what they do to teeth <laughs> to get them ready for veneers when they shave them down into weird little fangs. So you have little teeth. Dude, it's so funny to think that all these hot celebrities that walk around with fake teeth that have these like perfect teeth really just have these like little fang teeth with caps over them. Like if you put what I'm considering it, doing, dude, don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Your teeth are Is fine. that right. They shave their teeth in the fangs first. Yeah, they make them Christine. little baby fangs. Christine, show the show the picture I texted you. Uh, Christina on the coast has she has fangs. This is what's she under has her. that California white. Yeah, dude. You know what's under that? Yeah. This. That's like forever. A... Yeah, dude. Vampire That's forever, teeth. Yeah. That's what her actual teeth look like, so those veneers can fit over them. And yeah. this is like modern vampire, not the two fangs. This is the entire mouth. Yeah. Is fangs. yeah this, this piranha mouth, dude. You get piranha <laughs> mouth. Sick, before this. Sick, sick Supernatural reference, Jacob. I liked it. <laughs> Thanks, I man. I, I, didn't, I didn't get it because I'm, I'm not that gay. The vampires um, have the, the, the werewolf teeth turn big in the fangs, but the vampire teeth, they have a whole thing up there in the uh, upper and lower gum that's a second set of fangs. Like, it's fangs that cover all their teeth. Yeah, man. They're well, look at that. vicious looking. That's what they shave them down to. The the before picture of, the, of this woman's teeth that we're looking at was like. I got to tell you what, dude. I don't even have much. I, I don't. This I thought this would be significantly worse, quite honestly. You, but there was you, no going back. You do, yeah, but if you do that those. to your teeth, exactly. You do that to your teeth, your veneers fall off or whatever. You're going to be walking around looking like fucking gremlin's mouth for at least for a, a day. day. <laughs> for a day, yeah, for a day. I mean, however long it takes you to get back in, and I wonder if it costs you that money to put them back on if they fall off. What is a veneer? Is it just a facade? So there's they feel it's the like fangs. A, it's like, it's like a cap. Teeth? It's like a, it's like a cap they put over the teeth that make it look like a perfect tooth. Bring up someone with veneers. People get them, man. Voss has yeah. got them. A couple other people got them. Yep. Yep. You, yep. I think uh, Pete Pete got them. A bunch of people yeah. in Hollywood. Well, yeah. I mean, like I said, got, got, did he really? You think? Yeah, he did a weekend update about it. About getting his teeth done? Yeah, I, I swear to God, he had a joke in one of his weekend updates about getting it done. Maybe you can uh, also tell, man, when you watch the shitty when we were going into like the Hallmark movies and the Lifetime movies when we were bored. Yeah, you could see those like cheap veneers about how they're oh, like they're so white they're blue. Yeah, soap opera teeth. Soap opera teeth is the best way to say that. Yeah, look at the look at their fantastic smiles. 
God, that's weird, dude. So good. So look good. at that lady. Look at the before and after all the way to the right. The blonde lady up at the top. She looks fine before. Dan, you may have just sold me on definitely getting them. Don't do it. Dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need you with your little weird bat boy teeth being around me all the time. Knowing that those on top. Beneath, I wish they would come off so I can just go, Dan, something's that. Is it a full moon? Get away. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know how you're always in your bath. You know how you're always in your bathroom in the dark, and I go, "Damn, light switch won't turn on." And I turn it. Uh, you go <laughs> in the shower. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> no! Oh, so beautiful. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Yeah, I'm with Jay on this. I don't know that I. Man, you just don't want to go too big. You don't want the Joe Bidens, but no, 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 no. Fuck that. You guys are weird. Don't do it. I mean, that, that, those those before and afters really just made me happy for the afters. What are you talking about? Their befores were okay. He, They're not. He, Dan, damn it. are you going to have fucking veneers teeth? together? No, dude. No, I'm not I don't gonna want have fang teeth. I like I'm not my gap. Have fang teeth. I'm going to have veneers on. I like my gap and my uneven uneven bottom teeth. I didn't have to get braces like all you nerds. I rocked out what God gave me. I'm God. It's a big deal. I'm okay. all natural, Dan Soder. These teeth came in the way they were supposed to. Mostly crooked. Nah, I, 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 I'll get a grill with you. I won't get veneers with you. Want to get grills? Yeah. <laughs> we were supposed to when we did Skankfest South. I know. We never got grills. We are supposed to get Paul Wall um, grills. <laughs> That's right. We do have to get grills still. I'm still all for that. I'm f- way for it. Yeah, might as well the whole crew. So we have the whole crew fucking Paul Walled out. Problem is, do I get it? Do I get it for my? Do I oh no, it's gonna have to now or my veneers, dude. If you get veneers, I feel like you should have to get a grill for your little fang teeth. I feel like we have to pop them out <laughs> just for my little fangers. Yeah, dude, on your little fangs, you can have a grill teeth. Everything <laughs> else, no he's way, got, man. He's got platinum fangs in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, dude, Jay has gone a weird, uh, a weird route. <laughs> um. Oh, Steve, anyways, the, yeah, we were sidetracked. Lock up stuff. Yeah, we can we can watch a real quick love after lockup because what I want to get to is the show I want to push on everybody. I'm trying I don't to want any love after lockup. I can't get her eating best... tacos. You get her coming out though. No, it like the two clips that I'm finding from the show are stopping like right before she comes out. So I was gonna try to uh, I'd have to go through full. A, it was a big reveal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll, it it'll, 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 it'll be it'll be it, it'll cool. be out a couple of days. It's probably just they haven't put out clips from that episode yet. Sure. On point being is I got super into love after lockup to the point where I was still jonesing for some shitty TV. Actually, what happened was we downloaded the We Network app and we started watching Love After Lockup on the We Network. And on then TV. on we watched it on the app or we watched the first we watched the first two episodes on demand on TV. And then the third episode, we had to download the Wii app to watch it. Well, I'm saying the Wii app on television, though. Yeah, yeah of course. Computer. Yeah, okay. we downloaded was, it. On was, TV. Was, that's what I was asking if they have a Wii app on smart TVs. Uh, they do on Apple TV. If you have Apple TV, they have a Wii app. You can watch it. So then after we watched Love After Lockup, we're like, what's this thing called Extreme Love? And we're like, ah, we like read the little briefing of it. And Katie's like, fuck it. Let's put on an episode. We put on episode one. And I was like, dude, this is, this is built for the bonfire. This entire show is built for the bonfire. It's like oh, the, yeah. Wii, the Wii Network was like, do you guys want your fucking lost tapes taken care of for like three weeks? Uh, Let's, I'll show you the trailer for season two. But I'll episode, be starting tonight or tomorrow. Dude, I can't wait for you just to text me and be like, what the fuck is this? Actually, I may start before Skanks tonight. Do it, dude. I take a shower and check it out. Just hit play of the, and we'll tweet it out. The bonfire. We SXM. all want someone to love. Pause. Whatever now. All this, gar- <laughs> all of this garbage, all of this garbage, is sold to you as being like more of a sexual study because the voiceover woman is British. So she's just like, "What does this mean for these partners?" But then you see these, and you're like, "Oh, you guys are just horny idiots." This show should have been called "Horny Idiots." Of course. It's, hor- it's all it is. It's a, yeah, extreme and just, horniness. And all they do is just reuse the footage. Dude, their app sucks asshole. It's got two out of five stars, and you'll see why if you download it. But you show, can watch the show. The show should be called uh, Full Balls. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. But even when they empty their balls, they still act like idiots. Watch. Hit play. There's one couple that's just like, I can't wait. They're in episode one of season two. I love two. this couple already. We haven't got to them yet. 
but you've never seen love like this before. I love giving orgasms. I love getting them. Provocative. That's the cousins. cousins. Those are the cousins that I tell you just keep kissing the whole time. It's love fucked it. up. Dude, this guy, yeah. Dude, it's fucked like, up here in our, in our urban society, but, you know, we're there from. No, it, no, man, the way they kiss is unnatural. No one kisses with that much passion. It's just, it's my mom's sister. This is my mom's sister's kid. Dude, <laughs> Katie and I were talking about how you how the siblings would have to fight. We'd be like, "Hey, can you stop your son from fucking my daughter?" And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> and "Your daughter went out there showing her coos off at family reunions." Yo, sis, is your son porking my daughter again? Yeah, do watch because then when they kiss, they're like, uh, uh. all the kisses in this show are just like tongue, tongue licking, and they're just like, uh, uh. Christine, hit that. You know fucking what? Because they, they, they have back. to really, they have, they have to really show you. They have to really show you because they want you to uh, like believe him. You yeah, know what I mean, Christine, don't be afraid to use that keyboard. I just did it. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> yeah, watch, watch the kiss. I am whatever he wants me to be. But you've never seen love like this before. I love giving orgasms. I love so getting them. Good. Provocative. Oh. I have to be first cousins. <laughs> I'm a full time baby girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. I open it. Wait, go, go back. Go back. Baby needs to be hit. What about baby needs to be hit with leather whips? That's not. She doesn't get hit with leather whips. She gets hit with paddles. Uh, you'll see, dude. She uh, <laughs> immediately. Katie sent the clip to Shane where she just goes, I'm a full-time baby girl. <laughs> she, just, she recorded it and sent it to Shane immediately. I was like, that's so fucking funny. Right here. I'm a full-time baby girl. Thank you, sir. I open it. There's never a bad force. Oh, man, that one's the best. Fun. That one's the best. The guy that goes, there's no, that girl that goes, there's no such thing as a bad foursome. It's her, and she dates a professional pickup artist, and this mm -hmm. dude just swings and misses the entire episode, and then he brings in these, like, young couple to teach them how to be, like, um, uh, pickup artists. No, how to teach them how to get women to have threesomes, and the young guy just starts nailing it off the bat, and he's like, ah, it's, it's probably just because I taught him. It's so fucking That's dirty. great. He's like, yeah, well, I mean, such the skills I gave him. I mean, anyone could do it if you listen to me. Such a fucking nerd. Yeah, it is. Uh, DJ Lou, did you watch any of this? I did. I watched the, uh, the short lady that was a stripper. Yeah. Did you watch the baby girl? I did, but it was hard to watch. I had to look away. Dude, it's weird as shit. Because she's like... You have to look uh, away. She, she goes, I go to the... <laughs> she goes, I go to the little space... And that's and then you see her and she's like, I spilled juice on the floor. And her husband's like, uh, Daddy's upset about that. And I'm like, Man, y'all are fucked up. Put your nose in it. She's the Bro. grossest ginger. Also, I said she looks like Poindexter from Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. We really enjoy clown sex. Proving that, there's that, always dude, someone. Those <laughs> all right. At, stop. The, the past two couples are wild. The people that love clown sex. This guy dresses up like a clown and then he just raps for people. He just makes people listen to him rap. It is, dude, he does like a concert outside where he's like, the world needs more love. And it's just in the afternoon and all these people are sitting around. He's like, that's what's up, dude. It's great. And then the following couple is uh, um, two, two ladies that are into feeding each other, but it's not really about feeding. She's wearing a pig Oh, snout. Christine. Christine, can we please take a video of me wearing a pig snout and you making me eat pizza or something? <laughs> yeah. Why do you want to put that out in the world? <laughs> it's just funny. It's hilarious. Especially if we can get Christine to dress like her. Yeah, Christine, wear a matronly dress and I'm going to go with a sports <laughs> <bag>. <laughs> And they're trans, both of them. Uh, they're both trans, yeah. And no, you, you say you like... I know you say you like my body, but you would be turned off if while you were feeding me something, I had a pig snout on, and I was jiggling my belly while I was doing it. You'd, you'd be like, hey, yeah, it is gross. I mean, I could say the same thing about my body. I don't think you'd like it very much. If I, I know. Had, Listen, Christine, I could say this. jiggled my tummy. <laughs> Christine, I could say the same thing about your body, but I didn't. I put it back on myself. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, boy. Another <laughs> edition of Jay is good, boy. <laughs> That, that, that really, the mm. point in the camera is great. And Christine, that is good boyfriending. <laughs> Back with another episode of Jay's Now That's Good Boyfriending. <laughs> Big Jay Okerson's Now That's Good Boyfriending. No, that should be a web series, dude. <laughs> now that.
is good boyfriend. All the kudos I want for simple things. Yeah. Oh, man. When I tell Christine that I made the bed, not only do I want her to acknowledge how pleased she is that I did it instead of her, I want her to also acknowledge that I probably also made it better than she did. Oh, man. <laughs> and that. And here's the thing. At nighttime, when we're taking the bed apart to get in it, I'll always go, Hell oh, yeah, I made the bed today, so everything's all tucked in nice. Jesus. <laughs> It was so fun and, and Dan, funny. And Dan, that's good boyfriending. And now that is good boyfriending. Jeez, that's good boyfriending. Oh, man. Uh, let's see if they show the... Yeah, the, they've shown all the couples I really want you guys to watch. The, the adult baby girl is the wildest one. I, mean, I want to start watching this as soon as we're done recording. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm... Well, yeah, I think I might. It's nuts. There's always someone for everyone. Yes! Dude, this British guy that lives with, with 12 sex dolls, and he says he doesn't fuck all of them. So he's just a liar. Some of them who, would get jealous. Who are those hot deer chicks? I don't, don't know. know that's, that's the next episode. We're queued up. We're queued up for that and the furries. Look oh, at this. Oh, are they death of their kittens in the woods? It's pretty cool. Or are they fairy kittens? Dude, there's there's a couple man where you're, you're so jealous. You're not living as a fairy kitten in the woods. Oh. So fucking <laughs> the, the envy, the, you're, the envy is seeping off of you. And I'll be honest <laughs> with you, it's not a good look. So just <laughs> say, Christine, you being a hater is not cool. Let these woodland kittens do their thing, and you do your thing. And I encourage you in whatever it is you want to do. That's not this, and that's good boyfriending. <laughs> and that is good boyfriending. I share my home with 12 dolls. Or something. Oh, this! Yes, I forgot about the German woman that's in love with the airplane. Oh, man. An airplane German... toy. An airplane no. toy. No, 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 Jay. There is a woman, German woman, who is in love with a 737-800. I think this show had a viral video go out at one point of a person who makes out with their car. Yeah, it must be the same show. Who wouldn't like to live their king 24-7? Extreme love. Uh, me, I do not want to live my kink 24 <laughs> 7. Dude. Yes, you do, Christine. Yes, you do. Coffee enemas. Coffee enemas, always. Her kink, and she wants to do it all day. She's, by the way, she's holding about a quart right now. She's, ho she's holding it in there, and she runs to the bathroom and sprays. Sprays. She goes, ah, get it out. Get it all out. <laughs> I'm in the colonics now. Yeah. Dude, that show is great, though. I'm excited for you guys to watch it because I think we'll immediately. So did you watch I want it? To see this baby mama video. <laughs> oh man, let's take another break and we'll come back and watch that baby mama video. All right. You know, I think that's enough. So, uh, yeah, but until then, just know that we're still the bonfire. Uh, uh, no, we start. Yeah, we start. Explain the headline. It says Anthony didn't even turn around when his baby mama crashed his wedding. You're like, why would you call him Anthony? Like, we all know who he is, but you'll realize who Anthony is pretty quick, uh, and why and why we know his name. Let it happen. It's a wedding happening. Also, it's a uh, it's a very black wedding <laughs> with a very black pastor. So he's doing that like, Lord Jesus brought two souls together, and if anybody got a problem with that. <laughs> Oh, man. I just, even from the headline of Anthony didn't even turn around when his baby mama crashed his wedding, from the headline, yeah. I'm yeah. I am feeling for this man who's just standing there when he's got his, that's when you feel your back is a shield. You're like, don't fucking. Wait, Christine, go back. Start from the very beginning again, because the, the pastor is fantastic. I'm trying to see where he is. Oh, I see him. Do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her? Love him, comfort him, honor, really, and obey him. Really, and Anthony? Oh, you're going to act like you don't know me? Wait, you didn't take your safe meds today? And, and you got it all over to him. And I got your baby here. Oh, my God. Oh, all the God. Anthony, I know you the hear me. You better get out of my mama's wedding. What is wrong with you? Get out of my mama's wedding? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. That was the real. Anthony's marrying her mama. By the way, daughter comes out trying to defend her mom, rips her fa fucking veil off. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Immediately uh, escalates How? it very much. But, uh, if you're Anthony and you're just at the altar right there, 
under your breath, you have to just keep be going like, hey, just uh, let's just keep going. Just keep going. Black people, have a, black people will have a DJ at a funeral. They don't have a bouncer at a wedding? Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah not, not one of the groomsmen is going to step up and fucking escort her out? Ma, yo, ma, this ain't the time, yo. No, 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 no. Just a lot of nahs. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, we should've... ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that here now. If, if I'm Anthony, I'm pissed at my friends for not jumping the route. You fucking see yeah. her coming in. You know who she is. You yeah. know who my baby's mama is. You do I'll not. I'll see the address. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's great. I wonder it's if they put it up. Yeah. I got your baby. His baby's not at his wedding. It's great. Oh, my God. Dude, the hearing of, when you hear the child cry, you're like, oh, man. Even if you're Anthony, you're like, fuck. God damn, oh. she brought the kid. Anthony, like this, when she goes, Anthony. He went, this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's in the middle of a prayer. And the wife is going like, I fucking told you this dumb bitch was going to find out where we was getting married. He goes, why did you put that? Tell why did you anybody put she know. She goes, your brother put it on Insta Story Live where we were with a geotag. Ah, fuck me. God damn it. Steven's back on drugs again. I think it's why I told him not to post. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Black Lou? But how fucked up is it that the first thing she said was, "Oh, you didn't take your psych meds today?" Yeah, dude, way to de pants him. Whew. Goes, like, did you like, piss? Did you piss the bed last night? He goes, "Bitch, that was a different part of my life. I was a different yeah. man." When I was with you. <laughs> did you take your psych meds? He goes, "It's all often yes." <laughs> and I did. I had to take it with food. You know, I get queasy if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having vivid dreams, and uh, so I'm light sensitive a little bit. Yes, Angelica, I did take my psych meds. Now, can you please take your son, who I looked after for a small amount of time, out of my wedding? He turns around and he goes, Yolanda, just sit down, please. <laughs> like, oh, oh, baby was, oh, good. Everyone, it's okay. I asked her to bring the baby. Thank you, Yolanda. Cool. You mind we, have, down? we have a very like Chris Martin, Gwyneth Paltrow relationship. Yeah, We're cool. Funny. We're cohabitating and raising this kid. Can you please sit on the groom side also? <laughs> I like to think of all of these. He turn around and he goes, Anthony. He goes, Anthony, me? Yeah. Oh, there's like three Anthonys here. I didn't I know. know. My, hey, what's I, up? I, oh, hey, my baby's mama. Tamika, what the fuck are you doing here? You brought the kid? The, how in the hell have you been? Did you not get the invite to this? Oh, my God. Egg on my face. I thought, uh, I thought I, you were staying with your mom. Oh, you're not staying with your mom still? I think I sent it to your mom's place. Okay. Anyways, That's I got to turn right. around and I, uh, I got to make a bond with her forever. But when I'm done. Anthony! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I understand. But when the girl pulls out, with like, you fuck up my mama's wedding. Yeah, and he goes, yep, she got this kids. Girl. That's where Anthony's family find out that she has kids. He goes, oh, oh you taking care of this bitch with a 25-year-old? Yeah. You ain't taking care of your baby. And that new baby is new. <laughs> that is a child. Oh, yeah. I say child. Cry. Baby's crying. Go to the beginning. Throw a water bottle at his head. Don't. Do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses? That you have never sinned, and that you have never done nothing fucked up to this lady. And he goes, nothing at all. Everything is perfect. So you promise, you actual good dude. He goes, there is nothing in my life that I have done that I'm not proud of. You ain't messing around with none of that evil. Yeah, you ain't taking none of that side pussy in and putting your seed in it. And he goes, absolutely he's like, not. He's like, I swear on our future children. Scout's that honor. Have another guy on our future. future children? Anthony! You got a baby right here! <laughs> Dude, here, here it is. Love him, comfort him, honor really, him, and obey him. Really, and Anthony? Mm -hmm. and you, him. Got, you got you act like you don't know me. Wait, you didn't take your safe meds today? Great. And, and you, you got all my eyes. Him, you you promise. She goes, you promise to obey him? And he's like, uh, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to turn around and hit this bitch. And he goes, Sit there and do nothing. Yeah. Obey me. <laughs> obey me now. For better or worse, obey honey, me. Honey, you ain't obeying. Honey. Honey. Yeah. Oh, man. Here it is. This lady shoots out the back. Yeah. All the Anthony, I know you hear me. You better get out of my mama's wedding. What is wrong with you? Yank. What is wrong with you? She, she you? caught it, though. She caught the veil. She did. Man, there. That was some concentration. Dude, that no, is... Anthony never looked bad. Did you find the full... Did you find the fucking... 
Links. To this, it says pregnant lady crashes ex boyfriend's wedding. Yeah, I mean, let's so go. I guess, let's oh my go. gosh, let's... you marry somebody else when you have another girl pregnant. That's pretty fucking wild. I mean, that dude fucks. That guy's really good at sex. If that guy can do that, <laughs> that really man is sex. much better at sex than I ever will be. If you can get a woman gunked up, get gunked <laughs> up, get gunked up, get gunked up, up. get gunked up, get gunked up, and then you wife up the other lady. Up. Get gunked up. When you come in the club, when get you're screaming at the up. wedding, get, get gunked, gunked up. up. Get gunked up. Get gunked, get gunked up. up. Please, someone blow a load in their lady and say that. <laughs> <laughs> get gunked up. Get it is a longer up. video, so it might go on longer. How uh, can you possibly? Part two, part two, part two, part two, uh, part two. We're oh. in the money. <laughs> oh. In the money. Oh, I hope it's a lot of phone moving around noises. Oh, a different angle. For what? For Richard? For Richard? All right, my apologies for the bad quality, but y'all said y'all wanted uh, part two, so here it is. All right, thank sickness you, sir. And sickness and in health, and in health, <laughs> to love, to love, and to cherish, 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 this has to be after. That's, 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 that's she's like fake. angrily finishing her vows. Yeah, dude, she's oh, spite. Fake. She's spite vowing. <laughs> this is when they went back to it. Yeah, I yeah. think they went back to their wedding. Will you perform to her? And I'm pretty they sure kicked, that's her. They, angrily they definitely her kicked her out, and then they finished the vows, and this woman fucking. Fuck you for coming into my wedding. So she's screaming the vows. Yeah, she's like stomp screaming and being like, for better, for richer, this fucking bitch. I know. I'm gonna obey. I'm gonna obey your baby's daddy. <laughs> yeah, I know how good the dick is. I ain't let him put a baby in me, but I'll let him. <laughs> she just knows. She's like, fuck you. I ride for this motherfucker. Play it again. To God. To God. Holy. Holy. Ordinance. Ordinance. And therefore, and therefore, I pledge, I pledge my faith. Be my faith. May I have Where's the? Oh, Everybody, clap your hands out there. Everybody, clap your hands. <laughs> everyone, that's how it gets people back to the wedding. Everyone, everyone, calm down. Everybody, clap your hand to the left. Two steps to the left. Down, two steps down, to the right. Two steps. Two steps. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Anthony, pay for that gazebo. He's going to get the use out of it. Dude, Anthony's a fucking Navy SEAL, dude. That guy yeah. is fucking cool under pressure. That's some over there shit right there. I'll tell you what, two seconds left in the clock. You got the ball on the five. You want Anthony making the call what to do. He's level headed. The Dude, crowd, I, you're in an away game. The crowd ain't affected him. He's like, don't worry about all that shit. He goes, we know this play. We run inside and out every day. <laughs> if, I, if, I need, if I need a lifeline, if, if I need a lifeline, I'm calling Anthony. I feel like he's cool under pressure. If I have to uh, disconnect a bomb in a high pressure situation where like a bunch of school kids are going to blow up, I'm calling Anthony. Yeah, man, I don't know shit about bombs. Do no shit about pressure. Don't let it get to you. <laughs> Change you who you are. Cut the red wire. What you got to lose? You blow up, you blow up. You gone too. <laughs> I go, God damn it, Anthony. You are a man of, right. you make illogical choices, but under cool and gracious amount of pressure. He goes, what if both, the, what if both those sisters you're fucking find out that you're fucking each one of them? He goes, then they find out. And I ain't what, invited what to the What's the worst going to happen? Want him come up screaming at one of my ceremonies? So yeah. what? Dude, that guy is. Uh, he's cool. him and Ellen. Him and Ellen DeGeneres are the heroes of today's broadcast. <laughs> that guy's cool under pressure. That guy's cool under pressure. Ellen knows how to run a tight ship. I don't see what the deal is. What's the deal with Ellen being a mean dyke? How are you a mean dyke? He gets carjacked and just steps out of the car. Man, take the damn thing. Cares. Dude, he really does have that put the gun to his forehead. Yeah. Slip transmission anyway on this motherfucker. I've been looking to get rid of it. If you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna dump it, total it, please. Yeah, get that shit. Listen, man, I ain't gonna call the cops. I'm gonna call the insurance company. Just make sure it ends up four weeks. <laughs> so we're funny. good. Anthony! He goes, I'll call you later, Juanita. Please continue, you. Please continue, Your Honor. <laughs> Sorry, my dick's so good. These women follow me everywhere. Oh, speaking of like a weird like a marriage thing, real quick before we go, 
Jacob, are you watching? Do you watch the show Court Cam? Because Live PD is over. No, I, I watched a few. I like it, but I haven't watched them in a while. It's a good show. They had, they had a wedding interruption in that, but it was like the opposite. It was, like, it was a positive story, but it's such like a. Uh, it was it was definitely awkward seeming. It was a couple who was getting married after being together for twenty some years. They had a child pass away from something like a it fucking said they had a young kid pass away, and they were getting married a few years later. And the judge goes, "If anybody uh, has anything to say, it's just the wording of it was wrong. It looked weird, like it was going to be a bad thing to go. Is there any reason why these people should not be married? Like, speak up forever, hold your peace, and like." The lady's sister stands up and she goes, I've got something to say. And you're like, oh, she's going to drop the hammer. Yeah. On something like terrible. Like I've been sleeping with him or I'm pregnant by your fiance or something. And they just go, I was going to say, I'd like you to meet somebody. And they brought out a guy who got their son's heart from donation who needed a heart transplant. Yeah. But oh. and I, only, I only bring it up on a comedy show because it's super sweet. It's so emotional. Everybody's crying. It's like they hug the kid. They take a stethoscope and listen to his heart. Oh, yeah, there you go. They uh, they listen to his heartbeat and everything, which makes them cry. And it's all so emotional. But what's so funny is this guy doesn't know them at all. They don't know him at all. So then he's awkwardly just kind of, and he's just like, all right, I'll be over here. Like, he's just the vessel for the heart in their eyes. <laughs> Do you know what That's I mean? That's crazy. So yeah. he's like, I'll be over here with your son's heart if anybody needs so, me. You know thank you. For like, your our boy's heart. heart is here inside of Eric, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Eric. I got your son's heart. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I work over at the Target in uh, Loftsville, but uh, you gonna go when it's over to go, dude. You know, we only have a reservation for seven at Applebee's after this. Uh, do yeah. we not invite Eric? His yes, name's Eric, right? Yes, it's <laughs> Eric, and he brought his wife, so it'd need to be for eight. Oh, fuck me, Ronnie goes. Look, I'm just saying. I know it's a courthouse wedding, but some of the things we are doing today did get a little expensive more than we thought. And like, I don't know if I can afford two more people. Well, should we just tell them that we're all paying? <laughs> yeah, I'll just say we're all paying. I just don't even paying. want him to come. He goes, I feel bad. He's got Ethan's heart. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I know. He goes, Hey, do you guys? We're going to Applebee's after this, but the food sucks. It's just like it was. That's uh, real. Like you can tell that it's where, it. where our first date was. So it's also, like we're going there for that reason. But you don't have to go to it. It's fine. We appreciate you coming to this. So that was really nice of you. She's also going to drink, and um, you don't want to see her that way. See, actually, I love Applebee's. Hey, man, could we just we can't afford it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. We can't. Right. We, uh, it, when we lost Eric, we made some some bad financial decisions. So, <laughs> but we love that you're responsible for his heart. Hey, do you want us to get Eric to come for your first wedding anniversary? Uh no, no, it's fine. Like we could do the stethoscope thing on the phone, probably. You know, what I mean, video chat <laughs> yeah. or something. Yes, uh, the guy, you... honestly, the guy's the guy's a bit of a dud. <laughs> he's a bit of a dud. He's a bit of a dud. Hang. Yeah. Look, I'm um, glad. I'm glad the heart helped him. I'm glad the heart saved his life. I'm glad. I am glad. But, you know, come on. You ever talk yeah. to the guy for five minutes? I mean, it goes nowhere. I don't know. That That's a that's a show that might bum me out too much because it's real cases, and you're just like, I don't know. Dude, court cam is just full of people going like uh, they walk by. There's always an asshole guy who's like, yeah, I remember your daughter's eyes right when I finished rape killing her. And <laughs> <laughs> the like attacks all by the way, if someone kills uh, your family member, murders them, go to court. And just try to scope it out and get a shot. If you can get a shot at hurting the person who did it in court, not killing them, but yeah. getting your hands on them, yeah, uh, you will go to jail that day. You will never serve time for it. You will not have charges pressed. There you go. So fucking it seems it, it happens every time on the show, and they just fucking they just go. No charges were pressed. He was found yeah. contempt of court, time served for one day in jail. Because they're just like, yeah, I get it, man. Like they're almost like, hey, bailiff, could you not give the guy the the perp stroll around the fucking courtroom like you're, showing him a show, <laughs> like you're giving him a show pony? It's yeah, like fucking keep them uh, in a cage or something. The Westminster Dog Show, and he makes him walk chin out. He goes, just chin, <laughs> yeah. lead with your up, chin. up on the table, up, 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 up. up, up. Well, I uh, say, we got in the show because oh, I, I've literally only me and Christine are showing on the screen today. All right. Well, we had a fun show. Make sure you follow us at the Bonfire SXM on social media. TikTok being banned or not, as of now, it's up. So go check it out. 
serious uh or go to cc.com slash the bonfire 